this could be a reality sooner than you think. Trey Young has had big beef with his head coach, and here's why it's only a matter of time before Trey is on the trading block. After the first month of the 2022-23 season, the Hawks are a top four team in the East, but it's come with a lot of drama. It starts with the front office and trickles all the way down to the players. Well, mostly just on Trey Young. Let me explain. In Cham's article, he wrote that the team already held multiple meetings to resolve conflicts, which was already vague and mysterious, and trade rumors about some of their core players didn't help. And in December, during a morning shoot-around, tensions between Trey and coach Nate McMillan boiled over, disagreeing on how to handle his shoulder injury. McMillan told him to participate in the shoot-around and then get treatment on his shoulder before playing in the Nuggets game. But Trey gave his coach the cold shoulder. No, not that one. Trey Trey made it clear he wanted to focus solely on treatment and didn't go to the shoot around at all. But there was a problem. Coach Nate had a strict policy where players who aren't at shoot around can't be a starter. So he gave Trey two options, come off the bench or don't show up at all. Trey allegedly chose to stay home, which he then denied on Twitter. But when both were asked about it the next day, McMillan said it was all a misunderstanding. But Trey said the decision was mutual. Was it your decision not to be there on Friday? Mutual. It didn't help Trey's cause that in the two games he missed, the Hawks haven't skipped a beat, going 2-0 against two league MVPs. It also didn't help that his backcourt mate, DeJounte Murray, took a shot at Trey in the post-game interview. I see guys working, I see guys in the gym taking care of their body and everything, so you gain my trust with that. You don't gain my trust with making and missing shots in the game. So, you know, like I said, it's good to see everybody step up and I'm happy for everybody. And in case you forgot, this also isn't the first time Trey had beef with his head coach after a couple of misunderstandings with Lloyd Pierce. The coach was fired after a 14 and 20 start to the season. Some reports even say their beef got so bad. It was the only reason Trey never made the Olympic roster. But this time around, the front office might be on Team Nate instead of Team Trey. Since members of the front office already said they're worried about Trey's maturity as the face of the franchise. But that's not all. The Hawks have been the center of different trade rumors for months now. And while Trey is still in a long-term contract, if all his off-court antics keep piling up and more questions mount about his maturity, don't be surprised to see the Hawks make a blockbuster move to ship Trey off and make DeJounte Murray the new face of the team. Because if you want to win a championship in the NBA, your star and your coach need to be on the same page. Otherwise, one of them needs to go.